So welcome to the MBBS material. I will be discussing on how to complete the medicine in final year. So the first thing you have in your mind is the fear of this subject. Then you are uh, facing your doubts on how to complete the practical, the theory, and the exam purposes. Then there is a problem of consistency. That is how how you should um, keep your focus in completing your subjects. So I will I am making this video so that you can get benefit from here. So I will be dividing medicine into two parts. That is practical and theory. And for practical, my advice is read Aurobindo. Aurobindo is a book that you read every day, and you will get a new learning from this. And for theory, do exclusively read Balu. Keep a revision, revise. But the thing your mind is why not Harrison? Yes, for me, if you uh, have not completed your Harrison before second uh, during second year or third year. Final year, you are completing Harrison. That will be very, very tough because you are also reading uh, Preplater or Maro or any edtech platform. So, my advice is, you should read from Orkundu and Balu. But the thing is, you have to read Harrison too. But how? You should go Orkundu for practical, then keep a topic, then read from Balu, and then again from Harrison. So in this way, like in case of valvular heart disease, you read it MS, MR, AS, AR, then go for Harrison. Read these topics. Also read heart failure. Your knowledge is complete. So I am not telling that you should avoid completely reading Harrison, but I am telling that you should, as you have less time, you should learn. You should read Harrison in a smart way. Read from Aurobindo. Choose the cases, go for Harrison, mark, and then read. Then go for other important topics. I I have uploaded the Harrison topics that are needed in practical and also in theory. You can see that in the I will be uploading it in the drive link. It will be given in the comment, so you can check that from there. Then the thing is how you should approach the practicals. Practical set. So you should at first sit and then write which cases are important in CBS, CNS, respiratory, and the GI. Like CBS, valvular heart disease, that can be associated with MES, EMR, AS, AR. So you read valvular heart disease. From our fundu, cardiovascular system, everything. Then you will go refer this thing from Harrison. Then in CNS, hemiparesis and paraparesis. These two are important. So you read from our fundu. Then you should go this from same case Harrison. Then in respiratory, in you are important is pleural effusion, consolidation, bronchiectasis. You read this from our fundu. Then you go for Harrison. Similarly, in GI, your important case is ascites. CLD case, then there is ascites. You read it from the same way in Orofun, and then go for Harrison. So this way, at first you segregate your uh, practicals topics, then you read from Orofun, then you go for Harrison and read the topics. Okay. So this way you can complete your practicals. Then there is clinics. Your reading is complete from Orofundo. Then Harrison, you have also read the selected cases. You will be facing in practical. Then you attend the clinics and see the patient. Talk with your uh, senior SR and at least keep in touch with them. And when you when you get a new case, always go to see them. Okay. Then when there will be theory. I again saying Bolu is enough. You are, you are reading Mero, you are reading Fred Ladder, any of them, or other any cerebellum like or other electric platform of your choice. So I am not mentioning them. So you have less time. So many videos you have to complete. So you go for Bolu, read again and again. Uh, you also are reading their uh, notes. So Bolu is enough. 
they, I'm, I'm requesting, I'm saying that, I'm not saying, I'm just requesting you that you also go for Harrison. If you cannot do it, no problem. You have not completed the full Harrison, but read the topic of practicals. You must read this topic from practicals. And it will not only help you confident, building your confidence, but it also help boosting your knowledge, your overall understanding of the practical cases. Okay. Then your uh, theory is done. Try to write down in small crispy notes and uh, try to uh, do it in a tabulating manner like sketch, add a sketch. Because this brings your understanding to a sketchy way and this helps to remember you for a long time. Okay. And finally, I am ending this video by saying that keep a consistency. Okay. Consistency is the importance because on day one, you have no knowledge about medicine. On day two, you are hammering. Day three, you know a little bit. Day four, you know. This way, when it is almost 15 days, you have completed Hindu. You have completed practical uh, topics in Harrison. You are also trying to read the Balur or any active platform. So your knowledge is just going like a uh, graph is going above. So you should not keep any doubt on yourself. Okay. Doubt should not be there. Always keep your consistency and your learning curve will be always high. It will go always up. If you give up, you won't, you will end up just no knowledge knowledge will be there but the understanding will be poor so i'm ending today for this this is enough for you for today okay so subscribe thank you